Honey, it's your girl Tasha, and I am back with another video. Yes, I said I am back with another video. I've been wanting to do that all day, y'all. <laughs> Guys, I just posted my vlog with day 13. Baby, went over there and still thought I'm learning how to do it on the laptop. Went over there, baby, and it said I had one new subscriber. I know the name. I know how to figure out the names. Uh, yo, this YouTube progress, y'all. Listen. I am Googling. I am learning. I am finessing. I am learning. Y'all, I am learning this YouTube thing. Now people going to BGL and all types of other stuff. But I'm going to be like chill on YouTube because I'm learning my way around these streets. But guess what, y'all? So I thought that it was only one new subscriber. So I go and look because this morning, earlier this afternoon, it was on 44. 44. So I go back and I look again and go! <gasps> we gained three subscribers! Three subscribers, y'all. I was at 47. No, I was at 40. Four. Now, your girl is at 47. 47. Y'all, I am too excited. <laughs> As you can tell, I am spiced about that. So, anyway, congratulations to me. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for liking. Thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing, guys. Thank you so much. I'm so humble. Because you don't have to follow me. You don't have to push that subscribe button. You don't have to get active in my comments and speak to me. But you do. You choose to. I really appreciate it. I'm humble. I really appreciate it. So I just... I wasn't even going to start on my next video until tomorrow. But I was like, girl, you have got to come on here and tell the people, thank you. You have to let them know you're so thankful to them. But I have to put up these clothes now, y'all, because, you know, I went to the laundromat. Because I explained to you guys that my dryer is out. But guys... One hour, the whole laundry. I can dig it. So I'm in here now. I'm going through the basket of clothes that I need to put away. So what we're going to do is we're going to retreat to the closet. Let me show y'all this big basket of clothes that I'm about to put up. Oh, oh my God. So yeah, we're about to. But the good thing about it, when I when I fold clothes, I always fold them according to the pile that they're going in. So it doesn't really be a lot of work for me at all. It really doesn't be. It really be on some like one, two, three, go type of thing. That's really what it be on. So we're going to put some clothes up, guys, and I'm going to probably put this on mute.
so we're coming out of the closet. <laughs> I just had to do that. Told y'all it wasn't gonna take me long to put my clothes up. There are shelves behind this door, and then the closet goes out this way. But everything I needed to put up, guys, was behind this door, so I'm finished doing that. Now I have to put both clothes up in his room. And I'm about to shower. This is going to be part of my day 14 vlog. I am so happy with myself, y'all. I have been doing this for 14 days straight. Every day I feel so confident. I feel so good about myself. I'm just happy because I'm doing it authentically. So I feel so good. I feel so good. I get to let my personality out. You know what I'm saying. I get... I, I get to let my personality out. I get to be who I am. As you can tell from my previous videos, when I first started this thing, I have come a long way. Yes, I have. So pretty soon here, we're going to have to do a color vlog because, baby, it is most definitely time. Because, you know, I had my hair, I had it braided together. So that's what we're going to do again. I don't know. I did have it plaited. I probably will plait it back together again. But I'm going to go through it and do a little pruning and some stuff. Or I may just wear it down for a little bit. But nevertheless, my hair is super heavy, y'all. It starts there and then it starts there and it's good and then it's like, mm. So do y'all know what I realized as I was in the shower? Having 47 subscribers is like having a class and a half full of students. So if I look out, most classes are 26 to 29 students. Wow, I, all, I have a class and a half of followers. These are people, like when I'm substitute teaching, these are people that are watching me, like students. They're watching my channel. Like, I am, I'm grateful. These are regular schmegler people with nine to five jobs, can do anything. They have their own choices that they can make and they subscribe and they like my, my channel, my live TV channel. Yo, I couldn't even take a shower without, for even thinking about that. I'm so humbly thankful, y'all, like, Y'all just don't know I have been praying and working and getting ugh, limited sleep because I've been wanting to be such a success at this. I've been wanting to, I've been, come on, chick. I've been wanting to conquer my, even even show my own self that I can do it. Oh, but I can do anything. I put my hands to it anyway, baby. You know that. I don't take no for an answer. So what I will do is I will just find another way to go. If I can't go this way, I don't mind going this way, and I don't mind going this way, as long as I get to my goal. Because everybody doesn't have this straight and narrow. Some of us have to, we have obstacles. Our route is like this, but it smooths on out to get us where we need to be. So I have to come on here real quick and just say how thankful that I am to all of y'all. And I'm going to, when I get to... I don't want to just wait and do a hundred subscribers. I would really like to do, I'm going to pick a random number tonight. Matter of fact, comment in my comments below. Throw me a random number between 47 and 100, 100 being the highest, on where I should give a subscriber giveaway. I really want to inbox all my subscribers anyway and give them a free gift anyway, just for taking the time out of their busy schedules or whatever to even pay me any attention so i'm really thinking about that i really am because i got nothing but wait hold up nothing but love for you honey i got nothing but love for you baby got nothing but love for you baby if y'all know five hobbies that's like one of my favorite movies I got nothing but love for you, baby. I got nothing but love for you, baby. 
Nothing but love for y'all subscribers. <laughs> and yes, I can be 49 years old. Excuse me, I ain't even 49 years old, y'all. I can be 47 going on 48 January 5th and still have this personality. Yes, I can. Who says that just because you're close to 50 or you're in your late 40s that you have to have this serious all the time attitude. You do not. Mm -mm. Let me tell you, you do not. You can be who you come to be. God has placed you here to be a certain way. If the personality that you have is an outgoing, cheerful, all the time type of personality, go for it. I'm cheerful. That's me. <laughs> all the time. So, <laughs> don't come for me in the comments. I'm like, well, you're almost 28 years old and you're acting. No, I'm not acting anything. I've raised four kids. I've had five more passed away. I've been doing my thing for years. Welcome back guys, this is the ending of the vlog for day 15. As you see, I'm cooking dinner for me and Boogie. Tonight we're having air fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and I think, oh, broccoli. That's what we're gonna have. Something real quick, cause I just picked him up from practice. So as you saw, I seasoned my chicken. I have it in the air fryer now. So now I'm gonna proceed to do my broccoli. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do my broccoli. I learned from my Jamaican friend but she taught me a little something that changed my broccoli life. As you can see right here, we have our, no, we have our broccoli. Excuse me guys, tongue tied a little bit. But as you can see right here, we have our broccoli. Tonight, we just picked up some frozen broccoli because they didn't have any regular non-frozen broccoli at the store. Like everybody's eating broccoli tonight or what's up? So we have our broccoli. This is the secret ingredient right here. This is the secret ingredient. You want to sprinkle you some on, or if you have the cubes, you can break them up. Distribute them among your broccoli. And now we're going to add butter. We're going to add about two tablespoons of butter. That's optional. You don't have to. You can just steam your broccoli and you can eat it the healthy way, but <clears throat> tonight I want flavor. So, yeah. Here's our broccoli. In the meantime, we have our mashed potatoes on. We have our broccoli on. We have our chicken cooking. In the meantime, I'm going to start making this fruit salad from Kiwi. Because you know you got to hear up and use this stuff nowadays. We have some blackberries and we have some strawberries so let's get into it y'all you want to make sure that you rinse your blackberries thoroughly extra thoroughly clean all the debris off of them but because I'm holding the phone it's a little difficult for me to do them both, so I'm going to speed this process up so I can use both hands, and I'll be back with you. Clean blackberries. Now, let's add the strawberry. It's our chicken. Let me see, because I might decide we don't like nothing soft. I might decide to let them go longer because we don't like soft chicken. Just a little bit longer. Ooh, baby. Yes. Mm, excuse my voice. Yes. I cannot wait. letting them see you as you do it you gotta take that off so as you guys know I just slaved in the kitchen hold up we gotta get that little spot up I just slaved in the kitchen 
my son, I showed you a video of what it looks like plain. Boogie has come in and now he's getting ready to put his spin on his stuff. So he already has hot Texas Pete hot sauce. Doused it, doused it. Even on his mashed potatoes, y'all. So, as I told y'all, we love to eat mambo sauce. So tonight he's eating the sweet and hot mambo sauce. Is it coming out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I told y'all my baby knows flavors. Now let's see here. Let's see. They do look dang on good, y'all. Whoa, that boy got him some mambo sauce, Texas Pete, broccoli, mashed potatoes with hot sauce. Oh my gosh. But I'm gonna tell you something, his plate look good. And this is the sauce that he used. Remember the other day I used just a regular one, but he has the hot, the sweet and hot. www.capitalcity.com <laughs> So he mixes it up. Look at this guy. What you need? <laughs> Look at his, his son. Look at his son with a whole thing of dog food down there. You better put some sauce on it. You need some sauce, Zeus? Anyway. Get your bell. Oh, yeah, tell him. <laughs> Don't forget your bath. So I have my wings, the second batch of wings, already in the air fryer. You know I will leave the cap open. Already in the air fryer. You saw how Bug likes to eat his. Real interesting. Mine is not going to be as active or as fun as his. But until those get done, I'm going to go ahead and get back to this fruit. Now we have our kiwi. I've already filled one. I'm gonna slice it and put it in with the rest of the stuff. So I transferred my fruit into a bigger bowl so that I could have a little bit more room. And what I'm gonna do is because we, I don't know about you all, we are sugar eaters. <laughs> yes, we are. Or we can put honey on them, whatever choice it is that you have. You can go natural with honey, or you can do it with sugar. But that is, you know, personal choice. So this is our food. Our blackberries, strawberries, and kiwi. We added sugar to ours to make a sweet coat. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> to make a sweet coat. And yeah. Let me take a picture of this. Alright guys, this is my dessert. This is my air fried chicken. Just regular seasoning. My mashed potatoes and my broccoli. This is my plate. This is my meal for the night. As you've seen, Boogie already did what he was going to do with his. But this is mine. And this is the ending of the vlog. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This day 14 and day 15 of Vlogmas with me. Mm, what little bit I did. I tried to give y'all a little something to look at so I don't get off on my dates. Because baby, I was going to give up early. I was just like, forget it. But I'm on day 15. Only 10 more days left. So I might as well see it all the way through. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in any plant holders or well, plant stands or candle stands, I customize them. You can get any type of design, color, whatever it is that you would like. Different sizes, different shapes. Y'all wait. It's coming up. I'm working on it right now. I'm working on my samples and I'm working on my catalog on my page it's all coming so stay tuned guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time